Running a Sims fan site, you get asked a lot of questions, so you know when a feature is causing people <laughs> problems. A friend who moderates comments and helps run our Twitter suggested I do a video about the style influencer career. This career was added to the base game back in November 2018. Normally there's not much to say about rabbit hole careers, but that's not the case here. In particular, some of the work from home and daily tasks are kind of different and there are unmentioned objects and features involved in this career. You join this career like any other, but can choose an hour before work each day if you'd like to work from home. If you do, you'll get your promotion progress the next day before work begins, and you do some tasks that are assigned for you that day. Style Influencer is a bit more challenging than usual, mainly in the skill requirements department. They kind of pop up out of nowhere, like one level you're raising writing then suddenly need level 3 painting for your next promotion. It's definitely one where planning ahead can help to smooth the process. It's not necessarily more skill XP, but the requirements are all over the place, with four skills needed at high level in order to reach the final rank. You'll need writing, then charisma, painting, and photography. Bear in mind, photography was given to all players after debuting in the Get to Work expansion. You're given a camera to facilitate leveling the skill, but many of the job's tasks involving a camera are a bit disjointed from that device. You'll also find that at level 3 in this career, you get a digital sketch pad, which is a wildly efficient way to make some quick cash. It seems like paintings on this thing are done 4 or 5 times faster than normal and they appear in your inventory, ready to be sold. I'm not sure about the limitations with it, but might make a video about this object sometime. The career is a bit of a grind and I'm not against a challenge, but I am against curveballs thrown at players out of nowhere. Let's look at the daily tasks that trip people up. See, you're given a daily task to take photographs. What would 99% of people do if they knew their sim had been given a camera by the career? Take a photo with the camera, right? It does nothing, so you struggle and maybe photograph different things. If you mouse over the task, it gives you more information, but it's completely unintuitive. You're not actually to take a photo with the camera, no, you gather impressions with the phone. Click this three times and bam, you're done. It's one of the fastest daily tasks in the game, yet kind of frustrating in how it's executed. Another daily task that pops up in questions all the time, gather impressions. This one is weird, again. You use the gather impressions once and you hit 50%. You try again, nothing. This one comes up as a high level stylist and you've likely never touched the style board you're given at the first level. When you gather impressions, you're given an inspired moolet. If you head to the board with that moolet and add impressions, the moolet will be taken away and you're free to gather once again and finish the task. Once you know these things, it's not too bad, but do bear in mind that this does mean a style influencer can grab a quick inspired moolet anywhere they may be. If you develop this style board up, you can use it to seek Muse and get a random positive moolet from it just by looking at it. This is another plus for stylists. Okay, but now on to good things. Let's talk about something pretty powerful the style influencer can do. If you hate the grind of gaining performance through going to work, you'll love that so long as skill requirements are met, the stylist and trendsetter can get promotions much faster than usual. At around level 4, this career unlocks the ability to write and publish style columns. You write it, then publish it. If this is well received, you gain job performance while off the clock. Meaning, you can do this and get promoted next time you go in or give yourself a head start. It's not foolproof. You can lose performance, but you gain more than you lose and you're also more likely to succeed if the sim's in a good mental state. I can't find a lot about influencing your chances here, but I can say for sure you gain more on a good one than you lose on a bad one. You'll also gain fame by doing this if you own the Get Famous expansion. You may notice we're quite far into the video without talking about what style influencers really should be doing, influencing Sims clothing and hairstyles. This is to some degree because you don't always get tasks for that and I certainly didn't. Style influencers basically get some ability unlocks related to makeovers. If you wonder why I'm not using the style platform, it's because this is a Get Famous object and completely unrelated to this career. You can offer to make over sims and change their hair and clothing styles at will. They don't often turn you down. Since this isn't my thing, you'll notice I mostly deliberately make sims look weird. 
you gotta realize it's much easier for me to make them look stupid on purpose than to try to make them look good. I'll admit my failings and leave that to you all. So what's the difference in the two branches? Mostly when you unlock things. The stylist gets makeovers a bit earlier, while the trendsetter gets trends earlier. They both work 5 days and 6 hours with only a difference of 1500 in what they make each week and similar skills are required for each of them. They both get this mirror. It's mostly a title thing. But if you want to set trends, go with the trendsetter. You'll get it 3 levels earlier. But what trends? Something I completely missed until now and I have to edit my guide soon for that reason. At level 7 for trendsetters and 10 for stylists, you get the ability to make feminine or masculine trends by clicking your sim. I guess I missed this because I thought making over sims would cause styles to spread. Nope, it's, instead you go into a special version of create a sim where you can create up to 5 styles that sims are more likely to wear. Clicking the plus sign will add a trend. I did a little test by picking obvious clothing like this lovely bear costume and wasteland gear with a clover belly button ring, you know, so that we could see it in action. Don't worry, it says up career up top, but it's just the name of a mode and not that you're making fashion trends for Sims to wear to work. I don't know how this works with seasons, I can't help you there at all, but when I made trends and went to the club the next day, Sims actually showed up wearing the fashion that my Sim had designed. It's of course entirely cosmetic, but hey, it's a feature we were promised in the first or second stream about this, that trends could be spread about town. It's not organic, and it's very much up to chance, but you can make it more likely that male and female sims will dress nicely by making up to five outfits for each. Man, so that's a lot to say about a career that isn't from get to work. This was free content for all players. It's got some depth to it, but also a bit of confusion. I like the challenge of having to gain more skills to level, and it is rewarded with a relatively high pay. While you do work five days at peak level, you can choose to work from home and just not care about always meeting your requirements if you wish. You'll have quite the artsy but socially confident sim who can make anyone look as awful as you like. We just hit a million views and are about to cross the 10,000 subscriber threshold, so that's an awesome thing to get to share. I'm near 50 videos and look forward to the next 50. Thank you all for watching.